Here, why don't you hand me your glasses? Hello everyone, my name is Ian McAloon. Today I want to talk about autistic meltdowns today. The three meltdowns are number one, tantrums. Number two, sensory meltdowns. Three, anxiety meltdowns. And I'm gonna and I'm about to and I'm about to explain all all of them to you guys. Number one, tantrum meltdowns. Tantrum meltdowns is where autistic people would get upset, angry, or even aggressive. Like if they if someone wants something or they're just really displeased, that could that could get into a tantrum meltdown. But but the thing that is different from the rest of the ten from the meltdowns is that it's at it is controllable. And it's the only one that you can it's the only meltdown that you can control. Not not the sensory or anxiety one. Number two, sensory meltdown. Sensory meltdown is where you get either nervous or scared of what you smell, taste, hear, or even see. If you experience, if you see, hear, smell, or taste any of those things, you get nervous or scared. That that is a sensory meltdown. It's it's not controllable, but you can get help from others to help you out, or or from something too. Number three, anxiety meltdowns. Anxiety meltdowns is where you get nervous or scared about something. You you, you feel like you, you you want help, but you just need, but you really need outside help. Here's the list of the things that give me an anxiety meltdown. So, num number one, chores. Chores. Chores are where I, I really don't like chores. Maybe even more than normal people hate chores. Because, it, cause, because my autism, it, it makes me more likely to be more nervous or more, or more, or more, or more angry. I do not like chores. Number two. Fright houses, fright houses. Sure, they're only on Halloween, but they're really terrifying, even for normal people, and especially autistic people. I don't even like. I don't even like haunted houses either. Number three, arguments with friends, because you're angry with them, you're you're yelling and arguing with them, but it can lead to an anxiety meltdown. Number four, lo losing something very precious. If I ever lo lo lost something very precious to me, it doesn't, it couldn't be anything. It could be a toy, a plush, or, or a family member, or lose my friends. I'd be really, I'd be really, really sad and really miserable. Number five, Getting nervous, overwhelmed about punishments. Getting punishments are normal, especially for children who did something wrong. But sometimes you gotta face it when you do something wrong. For example, if I sneak up, let's say I sneak up a bunch of treats, like if it's gonna be cookies or soda. I like a lot of treats. If I keep eating those or and juggling down sodas, I could get punished from them. If I eat too many treats without even asking, the punishment would would be treats taken away from me. It depends how much treats I eat and how and how long I keep the habit. It could be a day, a week. If 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 even if even more severe, it could be a month or more. But but my but but every parent calls it tough love. To me, how an anxiety meltdown really feels is that if I ever get nervous about something, it, it feels miserable, like tears go down my face. 
I, I, I scream and, 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 and feel nervous about everything, every little thing I think of. It's just, it's just, it's just miserable. I, I do not like anxiety meltdowns. No one does. No one in the world ever does. I, I like having autism and I don't like having autism. Here's why. I like having not the, re, the 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 reason I love having autism is that when I grow up I want to become a mechanic. So which is why the benefit of autism is that I can remember every single skill I've learned to become a mechanic. So I can help other mechanics, I can help my customers, and I can be re a real good mechanic when I grow up. And even for other jobs and hobbies I would love to do someday when I grow up. And the downside of having autism to me is it gets me, just like every other autistic person, it gets me scared, really, really nervous, and or or even angry. And I really, I, I hate having meltdowns. Meltdowns are, are another big downside of autism. Despite my downsides of having autism, here are some things I do to keep, to calm me down from any of my meltdowns. Number one, weighted blanket. I, I absolutely love going in my weighted blanket. I, I, I sleep in it every night, every nap time. So I could go in my weighted blanket while I have a meltdown. I, I would even nap in my meltdown to calm me down. Number two, drums. I love playing my my drum set. It, it gets the tantrum out of me. It, it makes me less nervous and all. The drums are, are one of the most best ways to do it. Number three, going out front to my front yard. The reason I love going out to my front yard is that the air is fresh. You can just, I, I sit down in my nice outdoor chair, maybe it, maybe even with a little soda, just, just a nice, just a nice lovely time in fresh air. Number four, box breathing. For those who do not, for those of you who do not know what box breathing is, it, it, it's it's a thing involved in breathing exercises and yoga. And how it works is you do this. Inhale, a few seconds. Hold, a few seconds. Exhale, a few seconds. Hold, a few seconds. And repeat until you're all calm. Number five, medicine. The medicine... My, my medicine has always helped me through the years. Although the, the early medicine in my childhood keep giving me twitches through over the years, which is why I switched from Risperidum. Risperidum all the way to Abilify. Abilify helps me the same way, but, to, but it never gives me twitches. So it's twitch free. Which is what I love about it. Even my father and my mother always recommend me having it. And I think it's great. It also does not make me sleepy. Things are going pretty good right now. I only have about one meltdown a month. I used to have them every day when I was a little, a little boy. That's all I can think of. Thanks for watching, everybody.